Hey, welcome back to the basement. There is extraordinary extraterrestrial crash recovered material in your house right now. Probably in your fridge. And today I'm going to tell you the story of a secret meta material that could transform our method of transportation and has been kept secret from us for decades. Because it fell from space. Peace, love, and understanding. Aliens probably are visiting our planet. Probably probes. Very unlikely to crash. But what is hitting our planet, what has crashed, what has been recovered, is extraordinary extraterrestrial material. So you're no doubt sensing a bit of frustration in me here. Sure, there might be crashed UFOs, but... It's very unlikely that they would crash, and can we recover them? Possibly. But that's missing the point. <laughs> for years, for centuries, things have fallen to Earth. Extraterrestrial, not made on Earth, that's changed our world because of science. The universe is ancient. The universe is vast. The universe is a melting pot of very interesting extraterrestrial physics and chemistry. The stuff out there that we just don't have here on Earth. And when bits of it arrive here, we look at it and exploit it. But this isn't whistleblower secrets. This actually goes on. I've worked with people holding lumps of extraterrestrial metal that they analyze to see, could we exploit it for us in the modern world? Here's two amazing stories that changed your life. For centuries, strange dark rocks fell from the sky and were picked up and they seemed to be metal. Um, this isn't one, but actually this is very interesting. This is a piece of Mars. Our ancients forged them into weapons. What's new? <laughs> because they were gifts from the gods. They were lumps of metal, which you could hit and turn into a dagger or a sword. So there's nothing new about extraterrestrial crash recovered material. We as clever bunnies here on Earth have found it and used it for years. But something extraordinary happened in France. There was a meteor shower. Oh, I don't really want to drop it. In Normandy in the 17th, 18th century. And when the clever French looked at these rocks from space, these extraterrestrial crash material, they discovered that unlike most meteorites, which are either stony or iron, these were an amalgam, an alloy, a good French word. They were iron and aluminium and zinc and chromium, and they didn't rust, and they stayed shiny. The French discovered from space stainless steel. We all think stainless steel probably came from Sheffield. Sheffield certainly exploited it and understood the extraterrestrial crash material from France, the alloy, and made it and built the modern world from stuff that fell out of the sky. But today, when we're all wondering about crash retrieval, I've found something amazing in Cambridge University extraterrestrial material that will transform our future. However much you like them or dislike them, electric vehicles are here to stay, but they could get better. So many of the battery elements and even the motor elements are rare earths. Sadly, often coming from very geopolitical difficult areas of our planet, if only there was a better way. Scientists in Cambridge, England have rediscovered, that's a great story of secrets, a material that fell to Earth that could transform battery technology. One of the extraordinary things about space is it's very old. Bit of an obvious statement, Simon. <laughs> but material science in space is different. 
metals can transform themselves over millions, if not billions of years into something called metamaterials. It's a fantastic field of real science. You can study at university level. You can build radar invisibility. You can even today build invisibility cloaks. Oh, I'm back. Oh, phew. <laughs> Scientists in Cambridge have found a material that fell to Earth many years and was re-engineered in the 1960s by military complexes because they knew it could make extraordinary batteries. And what I've just told you there is very, very secret. Only top military establishments bombarding this type of material with neutron beams could make this metamaterial. But today we can make it in bulk. And that will change your modern world. This is crash recovered extraterrestrial material, not a UFO, that will change your world. So are there crashed UFOs? Yeah, well, probably. But there's a lot more extraterrestrial material falling to Earth that we can exploit today. Let's keep looking for signs of extraterrestrial life. Understand what these strange things that we do see in the sky. What are you, AP? But don't forget real science. You can go and study geology of the extraterrestrial material right now. It's a fantastic field that will change your world. The truth is out there.